Russia's recent launch didn't just set a record with 55 satellites in one mission. It also signaled a bold chapter in global alliances. Among the payload were two Iranian-built satellites Khazar and Hadad, ushering in a deeper Russia-Iran partnership in space that's capturing worldwide attention. This isn't only about numbers, it's about strategic intent. With Iran's advanced imaging and communication capabilities now in orbit, the launch points to new geopolitical dimensions. In today's video, we'll unpack the significance of this collaboration, dive into the purposes of these satellites, and explore what this growing alliance means for the future of space and global diplomacy. In an ambitious move, Russia recently launched 55 satellites from its Vostokny Cosmodrome, setting a new record for the number of satellites sent up in a single mission. The Soyuz 2.1 rocket, which has long been a backbone of Russian space launches, carried a diverse payload, including 51 Russian satellites, a Russian Chinese educational satellite, a Russian Zimbabwean communications satellite, and two Iranian devices, Khazar and Hodad. This mission underscored Russia's technological expertise while opening the door to new international partnerships in space. The Vostokny Cosmodrome, located in Russia's Far East, was deliberately chosen for this mission, highlighting Russia's intent to reduce its reliance on the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Built specifically to bolster Russia's autonomy in space launches, Vostokny also signals Russia's ambitions to create a strategic hub for collaborations with other countries. By shifting its primary launch site here, Russia can streamline launch processes and build closer ties with Eastern partners, particularly Iran, as seen in this mission. The Iranian satellites, Khazar and Hadhad, were designed by Omid Faza Company, marking a significant milestone for Iran's private space industry. Khazar, a high-resolution imaging satellite weighing around 30 kilograms, and Hadhad, a communications satellite weighing just 4 kilograms, were created to serve Iran's need for advanced data collection and connectivity. With this mission, Iran made history by having its first privately built satellites launched, showing the country's investment in building its space capabilities independently of government-led initiatives. This mission doesn't just set records in satellite numbers, it's also a showcase of strategic partnerships that signal a shift in global alliances. Russia by including satellites from various countries and specifically partnering with Iran, is reinforcing its influence in the Middle East while advancing its space technology. As both nations face international sanctions, this mission demonstrates their resilience and intention to create a cooperative model beyond Western alliances. Now, let's explore the unique capabilities and missions of these Iranian satellites in more detail. Iran's two new satellites, Khazar and Hodhad, are more than just technological achievements they serve specific and potentially transformative purposes for the nation. Khazar, designed as an Earth-sensing and high-resolution imaging satellite, has an expected lifespan of three years. Its primary function is to provide detailed satellite imagery, which can be used for monitoring Iran's agricultural landscapes and environmental conditions. This capability is essential in a country with vast agricultural lands and diverse ecosystems as it aids in assessing crop health, water resources, and climate change impacts. Weighing around 30 kilograms, Khazar is relatively lightweight yet powerful enough to capture detailed Earth visuals, making it an invaluable tool for both civilian and environmental applications. Hodhad, on the other hand, focuses on communication, specifically targeting Iran's rural and remote areas where connectivity is sparse. As a small satellite weighing just four kilograms, Hodhad will operate in a 500-kilometer orbit, enabling it to provide communication services for regions that are often disconnected. This satellite is expected to enhance access to information and facilitate communication across hard-to-reach areas, playing a crucial role in bridging Iran's digital divide. The satellite's four-year lifespan promises long-term support for communication infrastructure, which could be vital in emergency scenarios or for strategic uses in remote areas. While Khazar and Hodhad have clear civilian applications, they also carry potential military implications, particularly in high-resolution Earth imaging. Satellite imaging technology can serve a dual purpose, 
and Kauzar's capability to capture detailed visuals could be repurposed for military observation or intelligence gathering. Similarly, Hodhod's communication services could provide secure channels for military or strategic communications, especially in regions where traditional communication infrastructures are vulnerable or unreliable. These satellites not only enhance Iran's capabilities, but also showcase the country's growing investment in private space ventures. By developing these satellites through Omid Faza, Iran signals a shift toward empowering its private sector in space, possibly reducing the impact of international sanctions. Now that we understand what these satellites do, let's explore how this mission reflects broader geopolitical goals between Russia and Iran. This recent satellite launch highlights the deepening partnership between Russia and Iran, going beyond simple technological exchanges to underscore a growing strategic alliance. Both nations face international sanctions Russia, largely due to its involvement in the Ukraine conflict, and Iran, as a result of its nuclear activities and regional policies. These sanctions have pushed both countries toward self-reliance, and their alliance in space technology reflects a shared commitment to challenge Western-dominated spheres. Russia and Iran's collaboration in launching Khazar and Hodhad reveals a strategic maneuver to build independent technological capabilities. The significance here lies not only in Iran's satellites, but also in the statement it makes globally Russia is positioning itself as a reliable partner for countries looking to develop space capabilities outside Western influence. By providing Iran with launch support, Russia could be seen as actively promoting a new era of non-Western alliances in space, especially with nations under similar sanctions or pressures. One critical aspect of this cooperation is the potential for shared intelligence. With Khazar's high-resolution imaging, Iran can gather essential data not only for agriculture but potentially for military surveillance. Russia, in turn, could benefit from access to this data, creating a mutually advantageous information-sharing relationship. The satellite imagery obtained by Khazar could offer strategic insights that are valuable for both nations, especially in terms of observing regional dynamics in the Middle East and monitoring potential adversaries. Moreover, this partnership in space signals a geopolitical shift. The United States and its allies have previously voiced concerns about Russia-Iran collaboration, particularly in areas like space technology, where advanced capabilities can have dual-use implications. For example, high-resolution satellite imagery can be invaluable in military reconnaissance, while enhanced communication networks support secure military communications. Such dual-purpose technology could increase both nations' resilience in conflict scenarios, amplifying their capacity to act independently of Western surveillance networks. This mission is more than just a space launch, it symbolizes a shift in the global power balance. As Russia and Iran forge stronger ties in space, they challenge the dominance of traditional alliances, sending a signal to other nations seeking alternatives to Western dependence. In this video, we have learned about Russia's record-breaking satellite launch, the strategic importance of Iran's privately built satellites, and the powerful alliance between Russia and Iran shaping the space industry. We hope you learned something new. If you did, please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Don't forget to leave a comment below and tell us what you think about this news and what you would like to know more about. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.